If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today uh, we have the cost of new card to check out. This is a very late video. Uh, just like the body video, these are going to be uploaded straight fodder. Like I think <laughs> I would be surprised if this video surpasses three or four K views, to be honest with you. It's very, very late videos, um, especially at this point, since we've already gone through the first foot fantasy or the fantasy FC and now we're like talking about, you know, fantasy or not fantasy, but we're talking about like future stars, center backs that were released a long time ago. And we also already did the tier list for these cards as well. But I had this footage, so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to upload it. Um, yeah, totally comfortable with where I put them in the tier list, to be honest with you, because I did try out that uh, Gear Trouda card. And in comparison, it was uh, really nice for me personally. Um, it was actually really interesting with this card because... I was like, you know what, since the guy already has like Bade and Costano in the same team, it's a good opportunity for us to check him out anyways, right? So this card is going to have like the second man press stuff. He's going to have the block plus stuff as well. So block plus, considering how big he is, um, could be a helpful thing. As I mentioned in the Bade video, you are you might not see like a perfect defensive review because I was checking out attackers, right? Otherwise, this review probably wouldn't have been done, right? Because defender reviews are really boring to do unless... I am reviewing attackers, right? Um, so with this card, you know, he's got pinged pass, long ball pass, block, slide tackle plus, or not slide tackle plus, slide tackle and press proven, right? So a couple of interesting uh, variables to work with. Shadow chemistry cell puts his card's pace in a very, very good area, right? 92 acceleration, 99 for sprint speed with very, very good defensive stats too, right? Uh, no shooting capabilities, passing on the card, is in a pretty solid area right so that with the passing play styles that he does have can be very helpful right obviously if you do decide to use a card like this in a three back formation and he's being played as like a right center back for the most part then he could be pretty decent there especially with the passing play styles right uh this card lacks in the agility and balance department but he does make up for it in the reactions and composure on a shadow his defensive stats are going to be massively increased and then for physical capabilities he's also set up very nicely in that area as well right so costano is an interesting one because for people that want the easier links for center backs in their team and you know they want the bundesliga link as well then they're obviously going to be taking a look at this card right it's going to be uh a very interesting one for people so i guess the comparison that we could do with this card is going to be to the body card because i did try them out together and i did play a lot of games with them so if there wasn't like a lot of footage for this it's because you know when i was reviewing the attackers i couldn't always have the time to like commentate on the um commentate on the defenders right because i would do a tackle with them but then i wouldn't really say anything about it right so again with costanu you we are comparing him basically to some of the other defender cards but as you guys know we already did a tier list for this and i am perfectly comfortable with the tier list that i ended up creating because you know even after collecting this footage and making the intro and outro i'm still totally okay with uh where i put this cost no card right so um yeah i'll show you guys some of the highlights of how he ended up performing in game and uh we'll see how he plays reach I don't think he's gonna make the extra pass there challenge Oh, so fast. Should have just kicked it in. Nice, good challenge. Okay. <laughs> Kafu to the rescue there. Oh, 
Again, dude? Like, this game, man. Give me the ball, bro. Huh. <laughs> Give me the ball, brother. It's off by him last. Oh, never mind. Thought it was. Composure, lads. Composure. Good reach. Good reach again. Oh, he gets tossed. <laughs> Not sure if that was gonna be like onside or not, but we'll take it. His AI is pretty quickly get uh, quick to get into those positions, eh? Challenge. I have to let the AI do it because if I control that guy, I'm cooked. Oh, and the game plays horrible. That should never work the way it just did right there, but it is what it is. Like that. War switch. Very nice, fast to it. Put the pressure on it. Definitely should have been able to get the ball there, but blocking the general areas in this game is uh, chalked without AI. I think EA did a, an announcement today where they're actually increasing the um, the defensive cards. Uh, let me see here. I think that's what I responded to today. Sometimes I don't pay like full full attention, so you do have to forgive me. But um, yeah, no, they did right. So the the Future Stars Academy attacker midfielder and defender evolutions have been extended by two weeks so it's actually good that we're still uploading this player view even even if it gets to like four or five k views like i'm okay with that honestly like it's again it's one of those like videos i upload on the side and it grows with like other things maybe and then it's like whatever right um okay anyways so with call some new guys Again, like I mentioned in the tier list, I'm okay with where I listed him, right? Because I think for uh, longevity in the game, you know, players like Van Dyke are still going to be uh, the go-to when it comes to, you know, players that you're going to use on a pretty consistent basis, long period of time and stuff, right? But this cost new card is really good. Really, really solid. Um, I would say one thing, though, right? I do want to say one thing. For me personally, you know, using these two together... I enjoyed using this body card more. Um, I don't know what it was with him. This body card, it, it he doesn't have intercept, but it almost felt like he did. I don't know what it was, man. Body just kind of hit for me. And I think it's because of the play styles that he has, right? Because he has like jockey, anticipate, bruiser, you know, doesn't have a block, but still did a pretty good job blocking a lot of different situations. Like he, it's funny with him because he doesn't have play styles in certain areas, but still defended really well. With Kostanu, the block is nice, and what I noticed with him, too, is the AI for an interception came off pretty nicely as well, too. Like, when I wasn't controlling him, the way that he would kind of, like, go into the players, um, utilizing his really, really fast pace with 92 acceleration, 99 sprint speed to kind of get into the players really quickly um, was pretty decent, you know? It was definitely pretty decent, but I think, I don't know, I think with Bade, like, when I was, like, trying him out... 
I just noticed him feeling like more of a significant difference. Like, obviously, he's a defender that is not part of the F FS Academy defenders. Um, I think after the cards that I tried, like, I think I would have gone with Svava. You know how I put, like, it, it was Kostanu, Svava, and... I forget who the third one I put is, like, in the, in the same, like, tier list. But I'd probably go with Svava. Like, Svava would be my, my, my go-to, like, my second one. It would be Gert Trauda and then Svava, probably. Because she's actually, um, she's actually pretty good. And she gives you good links, right? It's the, it's the links that you look for the most. But, yeah, with Costano, I just felt like uh, he was a decent card. I liked him. But would I use him for a long, long period of time? Uh, probably not. I think I'd use him for a little bit, though, for sure. Because, like, obviously, big dude in game, big body type. You know, block obviously comes off really nicely on him. But I, there's a few center, like like I said, Bade's card, I, I liked him more personally. I don't know what it was. It, it, it's That card doesn't have play styles in certain areas, and it feels like he did, you know? It was it was nice to use him, in my opinion. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.